What's good, footy culture fam? My name is Matthews, aka Matt, aka Matazino, aka Barca got robbed. <laughs> what? <laughs> and we're coming back with y'all with episode 15 of the Footy Culture Podcast. Once again, we're joined today by Jay. What's up, guys? Zinho here, and I came here for violence. Violence. Wow, okay. Wow. Chris? Uh, Chris here, robbed, I don't think is the right word. <laughs> Cleanup crew? Cleanup crew checking in. What's up, guys? Forza Juve. <laughs> and last but not least, Dave. Let's go and Barca did get robbed. Okay. <laughs> or we'll get into that. All right. <laughs> so let's start off. Uh, so on the chopping block for today, we got uh, Barca Juve, Madrid Derby, Manchester Derby, Farver sacked, and more. So keep your ears peeled and let's get started with some Champions League talk. Champions. Well, first thing I saw, classic Inter, the worst team in Milan, coming <laughs> fourth. In their Champions League group, after so many title hopes from many people on this podcast too, saying Inter yeah. were dark horses to win the Champions League. Who are those yeah. people again? I don't hey, know. Dave. I don't know. That's questionable. Dave, man. Not Honestly, even dark horses for Europa yeah. League. Yeah. <laughs> no yeah. European football. I don't Nothing. see them going far in Europa League either. No, they're, they're not, not, in, they're not, they're not in Europa League. League. Oh, sorry. Yeah. What am I saying? Like, no European football. But it's funny yeah, because all. even Shakhtar had that possibility to go into the next round and they didn't want to at all. Yeah. They didn't want. They didn't have that urge to like. Let's go for the win. They were literally defending at the end of the half, like they they didn't want to go to that next level because they know they go to the next level where they're going to kick out. But at least they have a little bit of a chance. Yeah. There's yeah. a yeah. possibility no, of right. getting scored on. At the end of the game, they were like celebrating. I kind of yeah. thought for a sec, did they come second? No, no, right? no. The thing, it was weird because yeah. like, it, like there was chances where uh, sorry, what was his name? Handanovic was in in the, in their side. And he was going up for corners because they, they want to win, obviously, to go to the next round. Yeah, yeah. they don't want to get like, knocked out. Shakhtar had that chance to literally go counter and score an open net, but they were just really yeah, just they're like, chilling, bro. They're just chilling, like they they're don't like want, your, bro. Yeah. Europa League, that's their level, right? Yeah. Which I makes sense to me. But again, you have Mochin Gladbach who came second. Yeah. Again, you don't really. It was a it was a lucky chance for them to go in there next round, but it wasn't expected. You didn't expect. You don't see anything they, happening they next to that. Though. But hey, you Real Madrid came out with the dub, two goals. Two no. Early yeah. in the game, so yeah. that's good for them, man. They're the free. Ramos effect. Madrid doing Lens what they, effect. bro. Madrid doing yeah. what they do best, coming up big in big games. Yeah, when it two, matters. They got two that of the same goals. I think Benzema perfectly twice, placed. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just Benz causing danger yeah. with the classic yeah. header. It was nice header. Top player. Yes. But it was, the yeah. reason the reason for Inter is has to be Conte. Like I have a stat here, here from go. his fa- past five Champions League appearances. Really? Yeah. Got knocked down group stage, group stage, round of sixteen, group stage, quarter final. Yeah, Antonio Fronte. I think it's his, yeah. I think it's his system. He, the way he plays it, he just doesn't he doesn't, doesn't change it. He doesn't, doesn't change it up. when he's facing a different teams. He doesn't like oh, okay. No, maybe we should change this to to better be in better position to face this team. Yeah. No, it's everything the same every same time. Every time. Sometimes it works in your favor. Sometimes it it, it doesn't work. You know, yeah. again, your team is used to playing a specific formation. Yeah, like a menu. Freaking Ole changes their formation every single game, <laughs> right? Yeah. And it's it's a hit and miss. So That's sometimes true. maybe Conte doesn't like to try too much just because you never know. But again, like hey, maybe sometimes it works. It does. Okay, it works. it works. It works in depends on the team. But you can City, never, yeah. you can never like yeah. Serie A is different because again, it's almost the same kind of style of play. You know, there's teams you're facing abroad who are always different changing. Yeah, you got to adjust your formation, your tactics. It's, it's to hard. Position, it's, right? It is hard. It is. Hard. It's always blame the coach. But I it, it. it has okay, to be. Okay, you look at their inter roster. All the they praise good coming into the season. Alexis Sanchez is a nobody now. Like, who's Vidal? A nobody now. No. It's These Spatty's players don't blow my skirt up. Like, Sanchez has been having Sp- a good yeah. season. We've been saying this, bro. I'm telling you, Spatty right now, he just always boosts Every Lukaku time. does a lot of damage. Lukaku's their best but player. But he's the only yeah. one. Yeah, yeah but he also one. got in the way of an Alexis header. That I know. That, 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 that was dumb. I don't and think that was unlucky. Yeah, think yeah that's unfortunate. But yeah, but then... And then the next play, he's getting mad at his teammates. Don't get in front of the ball. Oh my god! The, 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 almost the second last play too. Like they were still like pressuring. They came off a corner. They saw the ball possession. Lukaku just walking back to one side. Yeah, it's like get on side and look. He got the ball past him and he was offside. L- Lukaku, Lukaku is kind of like Suarez in that way. He loves getting mad at his teammates. Yeah, we're not like. Bro, do your part. I mean, he does do his he part. Do I, didn't see, I didn't see it on that Champions League night. He's been doing it. I didn't see it. League, Can't do it all the time. It's just that one game. But yeah, I it's just know. one game. It's just Barella for me, and that's it. Exactly. Bro, Barella, uh, exactly. Yeah. Well, no one here mentions Lautaro. Lautaro's not. Well, what, he's not what, the same what, what is there to mention? Not, uh, the way that he... <laughs> what is there to mention? The one header, he passed it right to the goalie, or he yeah. should have scored it. Man, remember when there were talks about Barca, oh like, God. trying to get him for, like, what, 100 mil plus? Yeah, and that's <laughs> not worth it. He dodged the bullet. Yeah. 
all he does is back into the defender. Yeah. That's yeah. all I see him do. He turns around, backs into the defender, gets mad if he doesn't get the foul. He had a couple chances to score and That's it. didn't score. No danger. Bro, I don't know what it is like with these Argentine forwards now nowadays. Like they're just like concerned like with their haircuts, bro. Lautaro, <laughs> Palacio, bro, Dybala. Jay. <laughs> <laughs> like focus on scoring I'm goals. Canadian, bro. Bud. <laughs> bud. I don't know. Hey, what? bud. Canadian. But uh um, what other good games were in the Champions League? Oh, there's a lot. There's Leipzig, Man United as well. Ooh. Three, two. <laughs> what does our United fan think of that? It was it was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah? like, I watched every single minute of that. It was always like, they got scored on early in the minute. Angelino, two goal. two goals, two minutes in, Beautiful I think, or five goal. minutes in, right? Yeah. So like, yeah, nice goal. It's crazy. Like you can't be like shit like that happen. Both wing backs. And they know yeah. that these wing backs like they attack high, 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 high. So what should Man you do? Look onto the counter attack, right? But again, they they didn't have like that urge to like push forward, push forward. You have Luke Shaw on the left side who can't really do anything. You get rid of Tellus again <laughs> after the starting lineup. Why? Uh, no, why aren't they us, playing Tellus? Tellus started. Well, Tellus played. They played. They played. They a took three, him four, off. One, the Manchester oh, you're right. Didn't start. Um, that's yeah. what, okay, he I came off confused. at halftime. I get. Uh, yeah. I get, so that, that game. That is, game. They're playing five at the back, three mids, and two forwards. I'm pretty sure. Right. Yeah, both then mids you have, were DMs. Pretty then, much. Yeah. Too. There, there are two DMs. And you had Bruno by himself, and then you have two strikers who can't really do much when it comes to counterattack. You're playing. You're defending with five players. Against a team that only lives off of pressuring with their wingers, so what you should do is maybe look into the counter, play maybe three or forwards, two out wide, and have that cam there just to put those balls through when you got the chance. But again, he has he has five at the back, he has Tellez and Shaw playing on the left side. Shaw's like the third center back. Yeah. But again, then Shaw has the yellow card. He decides to take Tellez off at half, and then again takes off Shaw after for Williams. Takes Shaw off at like ten minutes into the half. It's a weird one. Like, yeah. Why not? Why not just keep Tellez on the whole game right. and save like that one sub? You don't need Williams in there right now. And then Williams came on and got a yellow one <laughs> too. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's the <laughs> same thing every week. I saw Maguire on Clover's goal. He did one of those. He's like leave it for the keeper. <laughs> and oh my god! Yeah. At, yeah. Goal. at that point, exactly. it was th- at that point it was three one. No, it was, it was three, three nil. Three nil. Yeah, it was three mm-hmm. nil. And then they started coming into it. First goal, and then got two goals in like five minutes. Yeah, they came yeah, back they got, towards the end. They got the they got they the, they got the pen that wasn't really a pen. Yeah, they came back and into then it. No but the second goal that they scored, again, oh their fullback, fullback to fullback cross. Their fullback comes in, and then you have two fullbacks, Tellez and Luke Shaw, who can't even pick up a player. Yeah. <laughs> like, Luke Shaw is there, but Tellez is the one who has to come and pick up after him. Yeah. Considering he's even the left center back. But, like, yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's a weird. I, I definitely don't think Juan Bisaka is a wing back. Oh, my he God. Does, going for, like, no. If you're playing with wing backs, your wing backs need, like, if you look at Leipzig, they play with wing backs. But and their wing backs are the ones that create really danger. Well. Like Angelino, danger. That's exactly Hydara it. Haidara isn't even a wing back. He's he's more of a midfielder, but he was creating danger. And that's it. Where you have Tellez, the only one who really attacks in the fullback, defensive style, who can really attack. He's Luke attacking Shaw, mining too. Luke Shaw's not the best attacker when it comes to defense. And the same thing with Juan Bissaka. Juan Bissaka can go forward, but he can't even put a ball through. Every yeah, cross is going overhead. Going he can only... Really, he, the, best, he, he, the best trait for him is to really having a fast winger against him. Where you can chase after the winger and like take him out. Yeah, he's a good defender. That's why he played against PSG. He should, yeah. he sh- right? he should have played like in the third center back yeah. role. He should play the third center back role because in case they do get beat, he's always there to catch up. And he's yeah. quick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they right? know how to play that third center back role. Yeah. So and he's not scared of slide tackles. So I don't know, man. Yeah. But I don't know. They got lucky. Not that no, not that man. You got unlucky, but well, at the end, Gulashki saved the. Uh, oh my god! That's almost an almost own goal. An own goal. End, yeah. yeah, man. We were almost all literally three. screaming. Pogba <laughs> almost brought them out of the gutter and saved their their whole hey, life. Sh- in the it was Pogba. Fernandez almost. had a couple chances almost, to score too. Bro, almost. Yeah. Some long range efforts, but yeah. Man, you started off really bad. They got lucky with their first penalty, and that kind of like brought up their momentum up. Yeah. But again, you have Maguire who like, can't even communicate properly with his goalie. <laughs> like that's just ridiculous. Language barrier. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I would hope not, bro. The has been in Manchester for how many years now, bro? There better not be a language <laughs> barrier at this point, bro. Man, the captain too. Like fucking put it. Like speak to your goalie if he's not doing anything. Like exactly. just come out, scream him. But again, like they don't, he's not even a real captain. He's not a captain guy, man. <laughs> first year yeah. they gave him the captain's band. He's just their most expensive signing. Well, besides Pogba, and he's English, and, and he's English. English. So they're like, yeah. here, take exactly. the captains. Yeah. Take the captains. Yeah. Moving on. Who knows? Who knows what they're gonna do now in the Europa League? <laughs> they'll probably do well in the Europa yeah. League. Yeah, they'll, hopefully, they'll definitely be good in the Europa, Europa League. Their Europa See. League. Uh, it's their level. Merchants now, no? Yeah. <laughs> You're pulling merchants. Yeah. Are you gonna be happy with the Europa League win or what? Oh, oh here we go. If it's if it's something, it always should be. What if it? What if it saves <laughs> Ole's job? Yeah. What if it saves Ole's job? Ole's saving his job every single weekend. <laughs> Every yeah. well, gets from, the result, man. If they would have lost, if they would have lost like three 0 four 0 this weekend against Man City, he would have been gone already. But again, hey, maybe. it's oh, yeah. one game. He just literally plays, manages like a shitty guy's coach. He's sitting on the bench. Meanwhile, you have Michael Carrick here screaming at the players. 
What, yeah, do, you, what do you see from that? <laughs> what do you see from that? As a as a teamer, like a member of the team, and even as a captain, like you just see your coach sitting down and you have Michael Carey coming on screaming for you. Yeah. Like even as an owner, as like a fan, like it's like our coach, our head coach isn't even coming out. It's disgraceful. I want to know if Ferguson thinks out. of that. Right? He still definitely has a say in everything they do. Yeah, but yeah. again, Ferguson doesn't really... Heck, what can he do, man? It's been like five managers since he's come here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They've struggled to replace him. Obviously, uh, he's pretty much irreplaceable. But he is irreplaceable. But at the same time, like, how do you have a manager just sitting there and well, no, you have your second manager, Carrick, who's literally screaming to the players? Like, get rid of Soldier and let Carrick do his job on his own. Like, he doesn't have to be there. Would you Would you use, Would you you use? Uh, keep Carrick or would you bring in, like, a Pochentino or something? No, if anything, I'd rather keep Carrick till the end of the season. Try him out next season how he is. Carrick, take yeah. your manager. But then, Intern. again, like... You don't need Ole there. He's not even like even. Oh my god! Even when I see like Instagram when Manu posts his like speeches and like, oh, we need to try harder. Like, there's some things. It's like, man, like he just pl- plays as the safe zone. He's nothing, really, nothing about like we need to push hard. We need to push hard. Like we deserve to win. Nothing like that. It's always like, uh, it, it happens. It happens here in time. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's very passive. He doesn't show man. like fuck. Like, there's managers out there who like get fucking pissed off at their players. Yeah, and then there's managers like, mm, we almost had it. Like, it's it's okay. It's like man, yeah, it lacks ambition. To be a Manu uh, coach, you need to like literally get out there and like eat some green, like, like Fergie like, or David Moyes <laughs> or Roy Keane. <laughs> yeah, they need yeah, something like, like that. You Keane's know? talking a lot of trash. Why doesn't he step up? Right, yeah. get on the touchline. <laughs> Roy, yeah, well, all he does is complain about Man United. Mister Pun in him, yeah. you know, him and Michael Richards. Get on the touchline, bud. <laughs> Come on, we'll see. We'll see. I think I know. Do better. We'll see how that goes on to the next round, but fudge. Punch. Bring in Allegri. It's the same thing. Every I'd bring in Allegri. Allegri, Allegri would bring out shot. the best in Pog, eh? Bring a good shot. Well, if he's still there. Unless he, yeah, uh, if he's Allegri still there. Come and Pogba no. might not be there well, anymore. So who knows, well, man? Well, Pogba posted something on Instagram. Did what? you see what he said? Oh. No, what did he say? He posted something on Instagram saying like, oh, don't worry about what people say in the media. None, none of that is relevant. Um, I'm here to play for Man U. I'm here to do my best. I know really? we, we haven't been doing the best, but blah, 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 blah. I've never seen this. And it said hashtag like... Uh, it's all fake news. Or oh, something. yeah, yeah. I saw so that. Pog stay. Probably. Pog stay. End, of the, end of the day, stay. end of the day, his uh, his uh, agent might come out and say things. People might come out and say yeah, things. Right. Like, no, no, no. It, it might Raiola's be. looking for a paycheck. It might. Yeah, it might be. It lot. might be true. But end of the day, he's not going to he's going to come out there and like kind of like relax things a little bit because obviously end of the day, he's he's still part of the team and you can't be like already have your own foot out the door at yeah. this point. Like I feel like players like that, it kind of ruins their mentality too. Because as they move into the next team, they still have these people like behind them, like what the fuck kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Right? But like so. recently, the past three games, he's been playing pretty well. Like, now he's starting at least. Because all these rumors should be. I, like I if he doesn't want to leave Man United, then he's definitely going to perform to stay in that that team yeah. that he wants to yeah. be. Yeah. At, right. He, he does deserve to play in that for, for the squad still because he does have that quality and well. skill. But like, there's also times where he just doesn't do too much, and there's also times when players that aren't that like Fred and who are playing great and deserve to be part of the starting lineup, right? Yeah, it's called rotation. It's, right? it's rotation. At the same time, whoever's playing well deserves to be in the starting lineup. Yeah, it should be. Pogba like needs to show it, and Pogba showed it, and then a little bit against uh, Man Man City. Sorry, at the end of the game against the Leipzig, and played against the Man City game, right? He so pretty good in the Man City game too. He did. We'll see, we'll see. Probably one of the better players. Yeah, he was. Speaking of that group, we also saw PSG take down Istanbul Basaksa here, five one, five one. What a bloody performance from Neymar. Masterclass. Who just happens to be the best footballer on the planet. At right. me. Right At me, though. Could be. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Well, so you definitely make an argument for is it. Is it because yeah. he's Brazilian? <laughs> There's no better footballer on the planet. And then, but, what ahead. he did for that first goal, no other player in the world could do. I'm no. sorry. Suarez against PSG against David oh, yeah. Luiz. <laughs> how long ago was that? <laughs> I mean, right exactly. Now, how long ago was that? What, 2013, 14? Yeah, was you say one. no player right now could do it, right? Yeah, no yeah. player right now yeah, could that do was, that. Yeah, no that one. one. That was so cheeky. I, I swear David Luiz fell, too. Yeah, I think no, so. No, he like <laughs> clapped his feet together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he fell. And then, t- and then he hit a top bins too. Yeah, yeah bro. I remember that. That was a risky shot. And that was against PSG. Yeah. 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 That's far as a different gravy though. But yeah, yeah Neymar yeah. did a little shimmy pana, yeah. bend it, got the hadi on the night. And gave an Mbappe his pen. What a footballer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's, he's um, yeah, on his day, unplayable. The only thing I would say, I would say Messi, uh, Neymar is the best player right now. The only thing I would say though is the teams he's coming up against. I want to see him against an actual good team like Bayern. Yeah, you can look at the end of, look at the end of last season. Nothing. Like, I'm not saying that. I mean, he brought his team to the finals of the Champions. Yeah. I know, no. Season. I'm but saying, again, I'm not, like I said, that season isn't really like a strong season because there was only one leg. Like you never really know like what can happen. Like we, wow. You, but again, he Still got, though, coming up yeah. against big teams, right? Like that's the mean? only thing I'm saying. He obviously Besiktas. She was it? Istanbul, 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 Istanbul yeah. Yeah. they're not a big team. Of course it's, not. And then look yeah. at Liga. There's not many big teams. I'm well, saying today they play a big team. 
Who, Leon. Yeah. We'll see. But I'm just saying, like, in general, I, I do agree he's, he's really good right now. Probably the, the best player right now. But I want to see him against big teams. Yeah, and see how he performs with those big teams. Then we could go back to this topic. We'll see which team uh, they pull. In they, they, yeah. Yeah. You could say that about anyone, though. He got the job done. Like, oh, I'm not saying he didn't who, get the job done. I just want to see him better. Who, who else is in the conversation? What, Ronaldo, Messi? What did Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Do, what did Ronaldo do against no, Fede Savros? Did he score a hat-trick? No, I'm not saying... I'm I would say, say Ronaldo. Ha- I would Ronaldo's say Ronaldo. definitely not the best right now. I would now. say Haaland is doing got, really well. Some players got to right get now. the job done. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not saying he's it not doesn't getting matter the job who you're done. Playing. Sometimes it's harder to get the job done against a team like that because teams like that, they're going to come in and they're not going to try to attack. They're going to just sit back behind yeah. the ball and it's harder to... It's tough to beat a block sometimes. Exactly. It's, it's, tough, it's tougher to beat a team that's going to defend with like nine guys behind the ball. To, to put a hat trick up against a team like that, it's I'm not, quality, I'm right? Not taking any, I'm not taking anything away from him. I just want to see how he plays against it's the true. national I'm, team. He is a great player. He's really great talented. But against a team like Istanbul, he can go alone and do what he did. He can go alone, pan a guy. Can go alone to score shots from like but outside. against a team like Bayern, you don't have only one person on him. You have three guys are all around him. Yeah, yeah. So we'll they see. defend well. well. I just want to see how he does against. And a team again, like that. you need you need your other players to kind of play for you because again, when well, it it's comes a team to, sport at the end of the day. When it comes it to that, like sport. you need to have players, strong midfielders who can play into space and stuff like that. And PSG, I don't know if they really have that because again, Neymar kind of does does everything alone and can create for other players. Yeah. When, well, it com- when it comes down to Neymar being literally covered by like three guys, it kind of it would be hard. Would it not? Yeah. Well, Mbappe yeah. too. Mbappe is, is he's there, but well, Mbappe's gone missing a little it's, bit. It's, 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 he's missing a little bit, and then he needs, he also needs Neymar to put him balls through. Yeah, he needs Neymar to give him penalties to him. Exactly, bro. So, <laughs> one CL goal in in, in what a year? Yes, yeah. was a two. penalty. No, did he score two that game? No, it was just one. No, just one. Oh, it was just one. Plus, they were coming off a pretty uh, big incident. Oh, well, that's why the well. match that uh-huh. got postponed. Yeah, yeah. big racial in- oh, incident yeah. from the the fourth official. Yeah, Against craziness. I never seen that before. No, they they actually stopped the game. Yeah, because yeah, of the that. both teams walked off the pitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mbappé led the protest. Uh huh. Took his team back, and then Mbappé and I think it was Kampembe brought was told the PSG let's go too. Yeah. And, well, uh, there's no room for racism in football. Yeah, no, I don't. So. I don't. I don't know if the, the ref meant anything by it, but you just don't. You don't say of that course, kind of thing. It's, of course, it's something that you you don't think of when you say it, but then after you say, it, like, oh gosh, you know, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, I don't feel like it was too offensive, but again, in the in the situation we're in right now in the world, and now that and what yeah, you got to be, on, yeah, you got to be, be more. Yeah, you got to be careful what you say. say. Yeah. I, I know sometimes you don't mean it in a certain way, but everything can be again, taken. Everything can be taken yeah. differently. And, yeah. and I'm sure in his language, when he's saying that word, doesn't mean anything. Yeah. When he's saying our Spanish language, doesn't mean anything. Sometimes even Cavani, when he's mentioned about his friend, yeah. Like you say that word, but again, yeah. it's something more endearing. Exactly, because yeah. you add like a little way of saying it. But I know even in the Spanish Spanish language, and even in the Romanian language, even saying the specific words to actually offend someone of their culture. Yeah, he didn't say it in that term. But again, once people hear things, when people hear a form of one word, yeah, they misinterpret things Man. sometimes. Yeah, and that's where it kind of bothers people. Yeah, I understand where it's coming from, but again, it shouldn't be taken too far in, into this situation. But again, it's this part of the game. It's part of the sport. Nothing should really be allowed to happen like that but yeah you again, just gotta be careful with like your words like yeah. at the end of the day like like you shouldn't be calling someone by like their the color of their skin you yeah. know what i mean like there's a lot of different ways he could have like mm. pointed out and i'm sure the that, coach sure you the, know what i mean he could have literally just pointed at him he, he could have said, said his number or his there. name yeah, there's so many things yeah he it was, was a coach he was, was a coach, coach. yeah coaching style. he could he could have there's a lot of different ways he could have said it other than bringing up the color Right, because especially nowadays, like you, you just don't do that. Yeah, you know what I mean, like it's gonna, yeah. it's gonna offend people, and it, and they have the right to be offended, mm-hmm. right? But I guess it just shows people that, like, no matter what culture you're coming from, like, you need to be a little bit more careful with, like, you yeah. know, what you're saying. Right? It yeah. is hard. It is hard because I know sometimes when growing up in one way and you say something this way, it doesn't mean anything, but going to a different country and you say something, it offends people. Yeah, yeah. especially yeah. on a professional level. Yeah. At a professional level, the the the, the, man, the the ref should have known better to say. But let's say someone from the streets or something says it by accident, it's because maybe yeah. it's, it's a cultural difference. Yeah. yeah. But as a ref, as a professional, they should know not to say things like that. Yeah, especially in a, like a globally broadcast That's event. Why. You yeah. got to read the room. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Gotta, yeah. Gotta, again, uh, I'm wondering what he did because he got a straight red. No one really says what the actual coach did to deserve that yeah. red. But again, yeah. it's one of those oh, things that... retaliated. Yeah, there'll definitely yeah. be like a lot of things that people are saying and it's probably tough to get like the act, what actually happened. Yeah. Right, yeah. it's it's over. It's done now. Right, hopefully it's not something that you, we continue to see. Right, maybe it can be used as like a learning lesson, you know, for coaches and refs and everybody, no matter what culture they're coming from, to just be a little bit more careful with with what they're saying. Yeah. Right, yeah, that's that's what I'm also thinking that maybe uh, that team weren't in their heads as well, and that's why maybe Neymar's got a hat trick. Well, maybe, <laughs> well, I mean, could yeah. be, but 
Well, you never know. But Neymar is one of the top players for sure. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I thought and it PSG out. finished top of the group. Top of the group, yeah. lads. Along with Leipzig. And then some other teams that finished top. You have Juve. And then Barca Sweet. coming in second there. And then you <laughs> yes, have uh, Dortmund. And then Lazio finishing in second there. Dortmund finishing in first, but yeah. get rid of their manager. Well, they got rid of their it manager just based on, it was based though. off of uh, more, more league, league form. They've only more. won one game in their past five games. And if you're a team that has like ambitions of, of winning the league, especially in a league as competitive as the Bundesliga is right now, like hmm. like losing against Köln, losing against Stuttgart 5-1. Jeez. You know what I mean? Like you can't be losing and dropping so many points to teams like that. So I think that's more the reason why. You got sacked. Champions League, they played well. Yeah. The group wasn't the toughest, but at the end of the day, like they got the job done. They got the job done in the group, right? And at the end of the day, like the European level, like like Brugge, Zenit, Lazio, they're not really the strongest of teams. Like especially if you compare it, some teams in like the Bundesliga are probably a lot stronger and yeah. more well rested too, because they don't have yeah. to worry about playing midweek, weekend, midweek, weekend. So that's why I think in all the leagues now you're seeing like. A lot of like the smaller teams and the more unexpected teams that don't have European football, yeah, you're right. they're coming to play because they have the energy, they're well rested, and they they know like okay if we come out and we press, you know what I mean? We're playing up against tired legs, tired minds. Like if we press and and we get like that first jump on the other team, we'll put them in a tough spot. And I think we're seeing that like, in all the leagues. Like, yeah, some of these teams too, you know? they kind of start their first lineup in Europe in Champions League, and then they have in their league games against. They got to rotate. Yeah. They rotate to the, some of the weaker players. Again, did did, uh, did Dortmund play the full team today uh, or yesterday? Well, they had like eight eight injuries, so like they had like a lot of like players missing. Mm. Um, but even then, like the team that they played, like it's not like it was a bad team. Like all the players there could be considered first team players. It was just more of like it was a bad performance from them, and Stuttgart just played like really really well. Yeah. Right at the end of the day, like you can't really blame it on the personnel that played. It's just more of like a, a tactical decision could have been changed a little bit earlier. Right, I don't think like they haven't been playing with a striker because they don't really have like a backup striker other than Holland, and then like they've been playing with like a false striker, and it just hasn't been working. Like they're trying to cross balls into the box, and like you're crossing into yeah. no one. Yeah, so yeah. it just tactically it hasn't been working, and you know a change needed to be made. At the end so of the much day. talent on that squad too. Yeah. 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 Do you think the sacking was justified? <laughs> well, I mean, like he's done well. Like especially like they came from that tough season. Um, after Tuchel, they had like the bus bombing. Oh, yeah. Remember yeah, that? I forgot about that. Yeah. There's the bus bombing, oh, yeah. and then Tuchel left, and they brought in uh, Peter Boj, who's now at Leverkusen, and he didn't really get off to the strongest of start. He tried to like bring bring like this really high pressing, high attacking football, lack defense, and then they kind of brought in Favre just to kind of steady the ship. Like you know, he's a smart manager, he's good defensively, and he brought a lot of players to the next level, like Sancho, Reina, a lot of like good development. But now it's like a lot of that growth has been kind of stagnated. Like the players haven't really like gone to the next step. A lot of players have regressed. Yeah. And he just wasn't really handling it well. Like he, and I think it was just time for a change at the end of the day. What do you think of the new man to take over Dorman's going to be? Um, well, right now I think it's going to be the assistant coach. Yeah. Until January, right? Um, they're saying until the end of the season. Yeah. Most likely. And I think they want uh, Marco Rose from Gladbach. Uh, but then there's also some rumors as well of the um, Salzburg coach, uh, Marsh, as yeah. well. American. Uh, the American. Yeah. And then well, some people as well are saying Nagelsmann or Pochentino. But those guys there, I think, come with a pretty high price tag. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I don't think that they're going to be kind of spending that kind of money on a coach, just especially with the times now. Yeah. So I think it'll more than likely be either Marsh or Rose. Or if, you know, the assistant does well, just, like, flick. Yeah, who knows, right? right? He could, like, you know, find himself a starting place, right? He's pretty experienced. Like, he's been an assistant for, like, years now. He's only 38. Young. But he's oh, been, wow. he's been like, you know, he's been an assistant um, with Klopp, with Tuchel, uh, oh, with Bilic when he was playing for West Ham, with when they had Pyatt and all those guys there. True. Um, so he's pretty experienced, but we'll just see what kind of ideas he brings. You know, there's a lot of talent in the team, but... Hopefully they can figure it out. Maybe you'll switch it up. Maybe you'll see how it is. Maybe. Maybe. We'll have to see. On the rest of the Champions League landscape, we saw a top-of-the-table clash in which uh, yes, Juventus beat Barcelona 3-0. Yep. Yeah. Uh, why don't you get the ball rolling on that one? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. You guys have the stuff to say about it, so I want you guys to get the no, ball rolling. No, what are your thoughts on the match, first off? Okay, so uh, I'll start off with the first half. Absolute dominance, first half. <laughs> half. <laughs> Yeah, you guys laugh, but 
But the, Barca only became good the second half once Juve sat back, no? For the most part, yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. Describe dominance. <laughs> okay, Juve get the ball. They Winning pass. penalties is dominance? Those are penalties, though. What do you want? Don't See? foul on the box. I think the first oh, one... No. You can make a case for it not being a penalty. You can't put. They're both arms. putting their arms out though. Oh, but yeah. Ronaldo's arms were behind both of what's his Man, name. Ronaldo's, 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 Ronaldo's arm came out first, but then Ronaldo also put his arm two out. Two arms in front. You can't put both your arms in front. That's but both arms were out for both players, anyways. Yeah, both Ronaldo's were behind. That was a 50 50, no? Not really. And what's Araujo a 50 50? You can't put your, both your hands in front. You could put one to hold them up. You can't put both because then that's a pushing motion. But he wasn't pushing. It's not pushing, but he had both hands in front. You can't have both hands in front. Okay, but they're both putting their arms in front of each other. Yeah. No, Ronaldo's hands were in front. They were down. No, they're behind. But they were behind. up. They were up. One hand was behind. You're saying it was hand behind was like Araujo? It was behind, yeah. How? How? Araujo impossible. had both his... Yes, it's not... What do you mean it's impossible? No, his arm was in front of him. Maybe to uh, the side here. Both nah. their arms were no, up. You can't it was put, a shoulder. It wasn't shoulder to shoulder, but it was a shoulder to shoulder kind of play in which they're both kind of battling for it. No, but you can't put. Okay, so Araujo went into the challenge straight in, and he had both arms in front. You can't. You can't do that. Okay. Either way, would you say dominance is the two first pe- half? two penalties and a goal in which McKinney was wide open? I don't yes. care how nice the goal is. He was wide open. Yes, it was dominance. dominance. It I don't was. Winning two penalties is dominance. It doesn't matter how you score. It, that's, not, the score that's, not, that's, that's not dominating. Not you guys are going to go off, oh, look at the possession stats. Look at the shooting stats. But look at those shots they got. Not good shots. I'm not look, saying possession is But I'm saying stats. you guys are going to go off that. No? Okay, well, you can, then why isn't it dominance? Because they won two penalties. Yeah. And an easy goal. I could have yeah. scored it. I would have. I don't know about that. that was... <laughs> I'm not saying I would have did the acrobatic motion, but yeah. he was wide open. I would have took a <laughs> He was wide open in the <laughs> six-yard box. Yeah. Jay, 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 Jay. You think so? I want to know how you would score that. Yeah. No, <laughs> I would have took it on the chest. No, that takes too long. Oh, I would have take, took it no. on the chest, flicked it over the no. keeper, and then... Head you, nah, you know to, how open he was? Has to be a I would have had enough time to do that. That's how open You're when it came out. Okay, then I hit it. Like, I hit the chest there a little bit in front. Back you. What I'm coming from, Jay, you're saying he was wide open, but he was wide open for a reason. Barca did not. Yes, defend. No, no, thank you. I, I agree I'm with a, that. A Barca fan, it was it, it was a bad performance from Barca. Yeah. yeah, but I wouldn't say it, it was wasn't dominant. It was dominant. It, no, you guys are going off the second half. The second half has nothing to do with the game. Wait, 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 the second half. <laughs> what? Wait, the game. Yeah, but it, they didn't do anything. If you want to say dominance, Barca dominated the second half. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Literally, but they they didn't. That's not more so dominating than the first half that Juve had. No, but Juve sat back after three goals. They didn't need to score another goal. They're they're in. They're first place. They can sit back now. The first game of Barca Juventus, weren't you complaining that Juve had a lot of injuries? Yeah, I know. You what about Barca? I'm not. T- I'm not saying anything about the injuries. Yeah, they had injuries. Okay. Does that take a that, toll? That, 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 yeah, but that doesn't mean that they're they missing dominated. some key players. Yeah, they didn't get that, that. I'm not saying Juve is better than Barca. I'm saying that Bar- Juve dominated Barca. Yeah, the first but half. after the game, you're like, they doubted us. <laughs> I never said that. I think yeah, you, you said that. You said that. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even with you for the game. <laughs> no, you sent it like in the group, like, oh, they doubted us. And, okay. you, and you also came in and you gave condolences to all the yeah. Bars. yeah. yeah. What was that? That's a three nothing. Now you guys are gonna be playing Bayern next round. Will we go off against like a Benfi- uh, a Porto or something? Yeah, and, and take the L. So like they, and they take the L. Exactly. <laughs> take the L. You guys are gonna take you're, the L. You're as well. talking about the future. I'm gonna talk about the past. Then it's only present here. Oh. I, I, okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know who. Okay. Come who's, against, what, right? So. What I saw was no Pique. Okay. No Ansu Fati. Okay. <laughs> what else? Usman? They didn't do exactly no Dumbelli. The most, the most, the most, di- the, the most dynamic, creative of danger was missing too. Gifted. Guess what? No, no. Who, who, who? Barca had no wingers. Messi is. You're Messi gonna say isn't bro, a winger. Messi had like what six shots? Buffon saved them. Seven he did shots? what he could. They're all passes to the goalie. Okay. Passes. You, you know what? No. You know what passes. Yeah. What do you they mean? Were, you know Buffon funny? had a good game. Yeah, he Buffon had a fantastic. Four game. generations of clean sheets, by the way, for Buffon. Interesting. No, crazy. Great Interesting stat. stat. But y- y- you know what's funny? You said Juve dominance, right? It was. It's crazy that half. Juve dominated, but Messi still played better than Ronaldo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's crazy. That was, that was probably one of Messi's best, better games. I would Messi say. literally didn't do so anything. Ronaldo Messi needs all, all the help. Messi, Messi has no help. Me- Messi, Messi has to drop into the midfield to create and attack. Messi did so much. Why are you guys game? changing Juventus to Ronaldo? Just so... Messi versus Ronaldo. Messi's better. We're talking about Juventus versus Barca. I don't care about Messi. Yeah, but you're talking about domination. You're saying saying Messi did nothing. The domination was Juventus, not Ronaldo. I'm not saying Ronaldo was domination. I'm saying Juventus was domination. Who's man of the match? Man of the match for Juventus? Who's man of the match of the game? (laughs) Ronaldo. Here we go. Okay, for... Are you talking about that American that has no quality? No, I don't even think... I don't even think McKinney was our best midfielder. 
I think it was Artur. You're talking about th- that player, McKenny, that all he does is no, foul. I, I said Artur. Has no smart tackling instinct, just bodies players, okay, fouls them. We can't say that. This guy that, says we that? can't say, like, oh, foul, he fouled him here. That's not a shouldn't be anything like that. But we have VAR. If yeah. it was a bad foul or if it was not a good foul at all, VAR would have came back and, like, showed if it was a penalty or not. Yes. No, these weren't, like, in the box. Yeah. Foul. yeah. And he's talking okay, about but- McKenny not being a good player. McKenny was better than your whole midfield. Uh, that's why You're Ricky Pooch won man of the match. Ricky Pooch came Ricky on. Ricky Pooch came on in 25 wait, wait, minutes listen, and won listen, the man of the match. Listen. Ricky Pooch came on when Juventus sat back with 11 players in the box. Obviously, he's gonna have time on the on the ball. He's obviously gonna. Start he had 25 minutes of gameplay. Yes, and, and he was man of the match. match. Juventus was sitting back. I don't Obviously, care if they're sitting back at 25 I minutes. I could have got the man of the match no, if I got him. No, you could Stop this. Crazy, Stop this crazy, nonsense. Crazy how a team that dominated the game uh, has to sit back. Yeah. Are they scared? Keep attacking. Right? <laughs> what, what do you want? A 6 nothing loss? They're, they're doing it for your sake. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Ass, bro. Small club mentality. Bad? Yeah, that's a small club mentality. <laughs> yeah. Right. I would say losing 3 nothing is a small club mentality. But again, you guys dominated. What is this, point, Tottenham? You got to sit back? Marie, oh, you got first, you got second. <laughs> Don't offend the Spurs fan. <laughs> it is true, though. Like, Juve is a defensive team. Again, they squat those three goals early. Was it early? Was it first half? It was first goals? half. Yeah, okay, it was all early. first goal, three halves. Um, if I'm going to the second half, I'm Pirlo and I'm in, the, I'm in the locker room right now. Guys, let's just focus on defending because three goals is a big difference. Yeah. Okay? Three goals is a big difference. And for them to come back and score three goals, did you need at least a tie? Huh? Was it the tie they needed at least to go first? No, they, no, to, they needed a they three to, nothing they win. They had to win by three goals. They needed to win by three goals. Yeah. Yeah. And they had it. <laughs> they got that three. If, it, if you needed to win by three goals and you're and it's if you if you need to win by three goals exactly to go into first place, I don't know if if that's the right mentality because again, if they score one goal, then what? You're second. And you just, I don't know how it works because it was two nothing and a three one. I don't know how it worked. But we'll see. Yeah. Okay. But again, to, uh, goal again, difference. three goals goal is difference. a big difference. And, and if you want to sit back and defend a little bit more, then I guess it is ideal because like attacking-wise, what did Barca really have besides Messi? Yeah. No exactly. one, pretty much. Okay, exactly. So if you focus and on just hold and defending on Messi, and then you can injury guys. Yeah, yeah, injuries. Okay, don't blame it on the game. Okay, but I, I was hearing all this UEFA fan talk. Ronaldo came and conquered the new camp once more. You know what's not easy to score pens, right? Do you think you can score a pen against your state? Okay, I've, I've never lost a penalty. <laughs> against healthy goals. Still a lot easier <laughs> than scoring in play. Yeah. Uh, Still a lot easier than scoring in play. Okay, okay but then again, what does, come, play at all. what does it come down to? Yeah, then because Buffon don't, had a master class. Don't, no. don't. They, they, the only shots he took were from outside the 18. And all of them were going bottom corners. <laughs> Buffon saved them all. If Buffon saved them at the age of 87, 87. I don't think that's how much it's like. Goalkeepers get better with age. Yeah. Though. Not at, not after 40. Come on. Yeah, Buffon definitely didn't get better because he would be the starting goalie for Juventus right now. He probably he could. No, it's he could left be. the club. Yeah, he left the club. No, that's not why. Yes, Do you think is. that's the reason? No. He left the club to chase glory. He's not going to come back Have you and seen take Chesney's spot. You've never yeah. seen his performance that he played this season. He's not the same Buffon that he has. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, of course not. The performance he had was good. decent. Yeah. Messi's not the same decent, either. Bro. There wasn't that many good shots. There was probably maybe one, two. Yeah, out of the seven shots he took, all the rest were just kind of palm down, pull it out. Roll it out. Well, yeah, he's shooting like from outside the box yeah, by like ten guys behind the because ball. Because Barca no one to create danger. As, as yeah, a, as Pirlo, he obviously has trust in that defensive line. Yeah, he played it well. Yes. So I don't understand why you guys are saying Barca was the better team. They weren't the better I, team. Defensive, you guys said they were the. We're better just saying team. Juve didn't dominate. They dominated. Yeah. Defensive, they dominated. Attacking, they dominated. I don't know about it. Two penalty goals is domination. Yeah, yeah Ronaldo woke up feeling front? dangerous, winning two pens and doing nothing <laughs> yeah. else the rest of the match. <laughs> Okay, that's one player. Who that, cares? That he scored the two goals when he was needed. That couldn't be my favorite player. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's not my favorite player either. Like, like, <laughs> like if, if, if you look at your favorite if player, you look at it like statistics wise. I said that already. They though. they they probably didn't dominate. But I said that it was second half when they sat back. That's when they got all their shots and possession. They dominated. I'm telling you. Barca yeah. dominated, bro. What are you yeah. saying? Exactly. This guy's going <laughs> off. Like it's, it's a full game, right? Like, you can't, like... Um, yeah, it's a full game. You can't just say, okay. You say Juve won the first half. You know, they got the two goals. They played well. They sat back. Yeah, they dominated you the first half. You can't say they dominated the game. Yeah. First half, they dominated. Yes, they did. But you're, you're saying, saying they the game. dominated Defensively, the Defensively, they game. dominated the second half. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yes. They I, didn't get one shot from inside the 18. I think they just played it well. They played it smart. They got their two goals. They said, okay, no, we're up 2-0. Three goals. Well, they were, when they were up 2-0, they said, you know what? Let's just like you know defend deep. We'll try to counter. And they got lucky to win that, 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 that second. That point, they, right. they got lucky to win the second pen. And then, boom, 3-0. Let's just park it. Lucky. I don't know about lucky. They should, have, they should have a third pen. Uh, how many, up, how many right? pens do you want? I don't know. Pierre's right? out of the air. So, I don't know. They, guy. We, should, we, should, got we should have got a pen, too. These guys, are, these guys are just... You guys barely got into the 18-yard box. 
I wonder why. Like UV fans got <laughs> UV fans got way too excited over a win. What this is a mid table side, right? Bars are ninth They're place right now. Side. Oh, that's excuses. Now. <laughs> that's excuses. Now oh you can't be saying God. that. You as a Barca fan should not be saying that. They're right? mid table side. You right as now, a Barca right? fan, you should not be saying <laughs> that. Especially with the end. That's nah. embarrassing. You guys, you last, not be last week that. you literally just named Kuman as the your top five manager out of the four managers out of the ones that we yeah, at the time. Yeah. Well, no. I mean the it changed this week. There's a lot that happened this week. I don't know. Things changed. James yeah. I wouldn't have it the same way now. I didn't say top. You said top. You said Kuman top. I said top Kuman. Yeah, I did. Uh, if you I did, you guys all did. You shouldn't be saying Barca is a mid-table team. That's not a mid-table. Well, team. technically they are. That's yeah. a stat. Okay. They're a mid-table okay. side. Are yeah. they gonna end up mid-table? Maybe. Maybe. You, you never know. know. With no. all these injuries piling, up? who knows? I hope so. With Coleman as manager, probably. Wait, you expect Griezmann to score against Juventus? Just, just you guys been hyping up Griezmann the past two who's weeks. Who's you guys? Oh my who? god! These Barca fans. Who's been hyping who's up Griezmann? Who's you guys? Only, so legit only put the, me. Put the camera on him. Put the camera. It's on legit him. only me. It's not yeah. you guys. Who cares? End of the day, as Barca fans, you shouldn't be saying, "Okay, accept the loss. It was a loss." Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Didn't accept it. it happens. Yeah, they won the first leg. Okay. They won yeah. the first leg. It was a good split. I, I think I was just combating him saying they dominated the game. Yeah, I don't think that's did. fair. I, I think Barca's think, yeah. first game against Juventus was more of a dominance than Juve's game against Barca this past week. Could be. What 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 would uh, Barca have done without Messi this week though? They don't do anything without Messi. Okay. <laughs> and just anything for Juve. Ronaldo gone. What do you mean? It's not a Fati gone. It's not like Dybala or Morata was gone. It was Ronaldo gone. He, without Ronaldo, Juventus plays different. Just like Barca. When Messi's not there, they play different. They can still perform without but Ronaldo. But did Juve at least have their full strength side? That was a full strength side, yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 not, I'm giving it to Barca, yes. They might have, I don't know, they might have pulled the goal. I don't think they would have won that game with their full team. But they would have definitely made it more of a match. It wouldn't have been, as I'm saying dominance, because from my, my perspective, I know you guys have a different perspective. I think it was dominance. Maybe with that team, it wouldn't have been dominance. I still think Juve would have got the win. Maybe not the three nothing win. Maybe like a, a one nothing, two nothing, and maybe got that second spot. But hey, it is what it is, right? Uh, Juve did dominate that first half. I would say they, they did do really well. They were pressing really high. They were doing really well. We had not. We had no chance. We didn't. Barca weren't doing anything. Yeah. But then second half, obviously, yeah, Juve is going to defend. Obviously, and Barca were dominating the second half. But because that was because Juve is defending, they had more on the ball performance in the second half of Barca because again Juve was defending. And again, yeah. when Puig su- got subbed in, yes, he had more touches on the ball. Maybe tried creating a bit more. Maybe that's why he got man of the match because second half Barca were trying to no, the fact yeah because no one else is creating the fact, on the team besides okay, Messi. But then you can't really say oh the dominance and all this stuff and this stuff that. But like I don't know, gotta see. Yeah, but Juve was laying them at that point. Okay. No, they're, they're just they're defending. They're just I can't get a goal. Can't get a goal against or else we're out. It was a solid three points for Juventus. Yeah, you you wait for respect? Respect. <laughs> That's cute. Respect Patrick there. Oh, yeah. for respect. Like I'm sure Barca is definitely gonna put in good performances. I, I just hope they don't get fired because I don't, so, I don't know. I'm just saying the fact that Ricky Puy got man of the match in twenty five minutes is pretty crazy. Yeah. All right, I'm just saying. I'm just that's my only. But thing. Did he, and but then he's not has, starting. But anymore. you think he deserved that man of the match? He yeah, was bro. incredible. He, he came on and like changed okay, the game for Barca. So. Hey, but what does that say about the Coleman management? And what does it say about the team itself? If a player can come on for 25 minutes and get man of the match, it shows that Coleman's no, stubborn. No, we all know. Okay. We all know and he then, should play. Then, then end of the day, why did he start? Because Coleman doesn't like. He him. didn't start. Okay, but why Coleman didn't he? doesn't like? Because Coleman's stubborn. Okay, then that comes down to management too. If, yeah, if Pirlo's playing a better management role and putting the best team he can out there to win the games, and it's happening. Why can't Barca do that? Yeah, Pier- Pirlo outmanaged Coleman on the night. Yeah, yeah. for sure. We're just saying that. I just, I also don't agree with Puig, Puig getting man of the match. I think it should have been Artur. To be Artur, honest, hey. I didn't notice him at all. Yeah, but he was he was like that. He played that. I didn't notice him song. at all, though. I know because he was that one that started the, the but possession. As, but as anyone, if you were not Bar- if you're not a Barca or UF fan and you watch those last minutes and you yeah, saw Puig I'm, doing that, you're saying you- I'm saying performance wise, not visually. What <laughs> performance defensively? He was sound, uh, but that's performance on the ball. I don't think he lost possession of the ball. I don't think he made one bad but pass. That's performance. Uh, well, actually, um, he made bad passes. He made five bad <laughs> passes. Yeah, but like, they're probably <laughs> shit. They're like probably going forward. <laughs> just, just Isn't that, that important though? Your passes had, uh, going forward. He had sixty-one touches of the ball, five duels, one three lost, one clearance, one dribble attempt, and one succeeded. And he was dispossessed, um, once. How about Puig? Yeah. Oh, that's a good problems. performance. That's yeah, a good performance. it's a good yeah. performance, but I don't know if you'd 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 say that's my to man me. Of the match, I don't know from, from know? what I watched. I like. I, I think I think he was man of the match. Twenty four minutes. Game. 
Yeah, uh, Puch 24 had, minutes. Yeah, he had 50, 38 he had, passes. Yeah, he had 50. Yeah, he pretty much had almost the same game statistically as our tour. Yeah, um, but that second half, Barca had the ball the whole minutes, half. Right? 25 minutes. But he wasn't on for the whole half. No, I know. I'm yeah. saying like that. That's where they got all that possession from. That's that's why he played. That's why he got man of the match. Right? Quality. Yeah. No, he. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I guess you could. Yeah. Okay. I agree. Right? But, I mean, you don't give Ronaldo man of the match. Two goals. <laughs> Huh? No, th- yeah, Sing. you definitely came to the, like you need them for those situations. Sing. Freaking so penalties. Yeah, but they're deserving penalties. It's not like they weren't. Okay. Anyway, well, um, besides that Champions League run, quick look into the leagues, and then we'll go to the off the. We saw the um, Madrid derby. Mm-hmm. Two nil uh, result for Real Madrid. Now that was dominance from Real Madrid. Why did hear Manchester for some reason? Yeah, Madrid, Real Madrid absolutely dominated Atleti there. Great performance from Cruz Modric, 35-year-old, absolutely bossing it on the pitch. Just unbelievable stuff. Uh, Carvajal with a nice little long shot. Goal ended up counting as an own goal. From, yeah, I hit off uh, Oblak's back. Yeah, yeah but a still, banger, nice shot nonetheless, right? And uh, Casemiro with the header. Nice 2-0 game. Yeah, not bad, not bad. As... You expect from a Madrid team. This yeah. is this is the Madrid you you expect. Madrid right? closing the gap a bit. Yeah. Atleti first what? loss for Atleti. So. Yeah, they were undefeated in twenty six games. Yeah. So That's first crazy. loss in the league. Yo, yeah. Did you see how mad Joel Felix was when? Yeah, he got bro. When he came off, off, he was oh my cheese, God, he was bro. So he was throwing his water bottle. Like, water like, <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> kicking the 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 chair like he was yeah. so mad because he got off. But he wasn't doing anything. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, he maybe he was. And Atleti maybe he was wasn't providing himself, him with the right? chances to yeah. do anything and that's either. That's the thing, though. Like he's a quality player. If he doesn't get the service, it's not. It's so. It's hard to do anything if you don't have service. Yeah. Yeah. And then they took Suarez off too. Like he wasn't doing anything either. Suarez should have been the first one to go off. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah, play like Felix, especially in the form he's in now. It's. I don't know if he I'd just, take him off. He just came from winning Man of the Match, uh, Man of the Player Play of the Month, month. sorry, yeah. last month. So it comes down to obviously anger because you don't want to be subbed off, and also anger because you're trying to do everything you can out there, but you're not getting anything fed to you. Yeah. Right? yeah. Or maybe you're having just a bad game, right? Yeah. yeah. You're so just having a bad, bad game, game, but again, a bad game, he wasn't too bad. It's just that. Yeah, Atleti those, weren't giving him the chances to create to be able to play well. They just and parked the ball. They were playing so defensive that first half. Second yeah. half, they put on Lamar. They put on Lodi oh because they need a chance to, to get forward. And Lamar and had Lamar. an absolute oh blunder right? in front of goal. <laughs> Disgusting. It was like an outside foot kind of hit. Really no, bad. On his strong foot. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, on yeah, his strong yeah. foot, right? His left hit foot. the outside side, side netting. netting. Yeah. Talk, about a, talk about a failed signing, huh? How much oh, did they? He was like 60 years ago. He was a good amount of money. Right? Yeah, he was a lot. He I don't was know about qual- 60, but he was a lot. He was hyped from Monaco. He was quality at Monaco, though. A lot of players are at Monaco. weird one. When they leave, they're not that great. It's French league. It's just a different vibe. Yeah, Monaco. It is. It is. <laughs> Basically on vacation. Yeah, yeah I did. Plus, I don't think you pay taxes there, too. Well, you so you're just gig, chilling, man. bro. That's a tight gig, man. That's why Ben Yedder loves it so much. Monaco, yeah. What are we doing ben here? Yedder. Let's go to Monaco. Let's do it, man. <laughs> yeah, that, that league was crazy. Barca play at three. Or they're playing right now. Yeah, they're playing right now. No, no. no 23 no. minutes in. Um, It's Levante, so. Yeah, so we'll see. But across the pond, we saw the Manchester Derby. Such a boring yeah, zero, game. Give me my 90 result. minutes back. Oh, my days. Bro, the most important. Most entertaining part of the game was Fred spinning KDB, bro. Like, come on. <laughs> Highlight yeah, of the game there. It was a boring game. And then Walker, like, putting uh, Pogba on the ground with, like, a little body faint. And then Fred right after, too. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, again, boring, boring. as Ole got lucky again, because, again, it, it's a big, it's a derby. Again, it wasn't the one of the best ones. And, again, if it Ole... Was the worst one. It, it was, mm-hmm. it, hey, good for Ole to come out with a tie for that game. Because, you know, Man City... I think that's what he was going for. You, thought, you know Man City is a better team. And again, I feel like Pep could have done something to change the game up a little bit. But I feel like I still feel like Pep is still missing something in his squad to change it to the next level. Number nine, a striker. Yeah, yeah. he's still it, missing that. Nine. He's still missing that. And I saw Jesus playing, but I'm like, I feel like Aguero needs to just come up a little bit and just no, Aguero's, try. Something. Aguero's off his prime. He's too busy now. Yeah, I think I think champs, bro. He's a gamer, bro. Like, <laughs> you know gamer first, footballer second. You know what it is? If you search a uh, Sergio Aguero on Wikipedia or uh, or Google, it's not a fo- professional a footballer. Yeah. No, it's not professional footballer anymore. It's gamer, it's a professional <laughs> streamer. Yeah, it's a professional streamer now. Man, so, that so, guy. Aguero actually, his contract ends this season. Do you think he's gonna go anywhere? I feel like he is. I or think re-sign. he's gone. Where though? I think he's gone. I don't know. Maybe does he go back to Atletico? Atletico loves signing, that'd be re-signing crazy. players. They already have strikers. Barca. No, nah, they wouldn't sign him. On a free? I mean, that, that wouldn't be bad. Messi's buddy, a striker. 
Let's free aging Me- striker. I don't want him. And you guys have Braithwaite right now. Like, uh, free, though. That's true. Can, I could, I could, but see then it, again, man. Holland's available in the summer for 75 mil. Is really you got afford that? 2022. Know, 20, 2022. Oh, 2022? 2022. Yeah, after, after a loan from Goldman Sachs, they'll be able to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. like, well, that's crazy, though. He's, his loans, his uh, contract's over. How many teams are going to go after him? Well, for now. That could easily yeah, be. Yeah, I know. Like, he could definitely get another contract. It can definitely yeah. be restructured, and I think it will be. 100%. I think right now that's what the contract is, but 100%. It, yeah, he's not going to go for $75 million. There's yeah. a lot of good players he's that not gonna go for contracts million. in this year, though. But again, if, if a great order goes somewhere, I feel like he might be even going back to Argentina. Maybe. Maybe, maybe Boca. Like a Botevez. Oh, he was, he was, was wasn't he um, River? No, River? no. No, Independiente. Oh, yeah, Independiente. Independiente. Yeah, yeah, he'd probably go back he, to that team. No, nah, no. Nah, nah, I think he's still quality. I think he's still going to the Boca. MLS. Come no, on, <laughs> Inter Miami. Come to yeah. TFC, bro. With, With Gonzalo, you got Ian. Yeah, <laughs> Argentine <laughs> boys linking up. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I yeah. think he's we'll still see. quality. I think he could stay, still stay, in two, still stay in a Premier League. It's just type of team. Maybe he definitely stay in Europe. Know. Maybe yeah, definitely. In Europe. I'll call it now. I'll call it now. He's gonna end up at Barca. Mm. I don't think so. Messi will stay. I think elections will go well. Huh? They'll need a striker. He's free. But wait, Bar- Barca. I think it, it'll happen. Just because it's free. But Barca is still going to have to sell like a lot of players. Yeah, summer. they'll still do that. But at the end of the day, they're still going to need a striker. What are you going to do? Yeah. Another season of Braithwaite up top? Nah. I not, don't know, man. Not, that can't happen. That's what I mean, right? <laughs> it's just an option. And yeah, he's best quality. buds with Messi, too. It's right? possible, so right? Keep, you got you to keep, keep, ha- keep him happy, right? That's if true. If you want him to stay, yeah, yeah. right? That's if he stays. Happy. Crazy. Keep him happy. So we'll but, uh, but even in that league, you see uh, Liverpool tying Fulham 1-1. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Fulham were all over Liverpool the first half. I feel like that's bad. It was crazy. It was. It was like. It was like out Fulham were Liverpool and F- Liverpool were Fulham. Like yeah, they came out. They the came game, out to play. Fulham. They were counterattack. They're pressing them so high. The way they played, I think maybe it was because they had they had fans now. Two thousand fans. Maybe they were just playing. A, they got the boys it going. Just got, yeah, it bro. just got them going. They're playing here. amazing. That's their first game since promotion with fans in their game in their, club, in their stadium. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, so it's so, uh, interesting. They played a. They played a three four one two. And it worked well. And they well. said, "Let's just go for it." it and really, you know really what? Well. They, they put the pressure on, and then. Bobby Reed played amazing. Bobby his goal. Reed, yeah, I think scored. he's their top scorer right now. Yeah, he is cross cross the net, which is interesting. <laughs> but yeah, it, was, uh, it was a banger. And then Salah gets a lucky lucky pen. <laughs> yeah, and then what? Spurs also tied. Yeah, Spurs one, one. tied Palace one one, and then Everton takes the huge dub to Chelsea. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel, Jay? <laughs> it was a dub. It was a W. <laughs> poor poor movement from Mendy on giving away the penalty. Yeah, it was atrocious goalkeeping. To be fair, did Hamas play? No, no, James, no. Jeez, and they still got the. It's dog, like, what man. are you gonna do? You know, this happens in the Premier League. Like, yeah, no, you can't win every game, right? Where was Werner? Yeah, left wing. <laughs> Might have to give him a call. I don't know. Jeez, <laughs> next yeah, don't ask me. Next week, <laughs> Spurs know. versus Liverpool. I'm not his housekeeper. You know. Yeah, Jeez, could be a good a, one. A I think it's table. a midweek. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Might yeah. be a midweek fixture. True. Game. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Anyway, um, anything with uh, the Bundesh? Before we top it off for the no, I think you already. Happened. I think you already said it. Nothing yeah. happened in the Bundesliga. I don't know. Bayern uh, tie. Bayern tie. Leipzig first. Uh, Leverkusen are in first now. Oh, Leverkusen, sorry. Yeah. Um, they've been playing well. Bayern, Bayern, Leipzig tie for second. Wolfsburg up there as well, and then Dortmund still hanging around somehow for now. <laughs> um, just right there, hanging they're just on. hanging in there. But uh, but yeah, definitely a lot of competition this season. Who's uh, who's performing for Bayern Leverkusen that they're doing so well? Just the team in yeah, general. Team man, yeah. They're playing well. And you outstanding it's players. A good, it's a good uh Bailey got a little brace. Yeah, Bailey's today. been playing well. Push got uh, shell um, for his goal today. And yeah, bros. Could be. Aladio has been has been like probably like in terms of statistics, like he's been scoring eight goals in eight games. So you know can oh, ca- wow. you can count him for like a goal a game. Clinical. That's crazy. Which is always good, like for a center forward. You, Another Argentine. You need a player like that that can just give you a goal a game. Uh this lad here, Kai Havertz is replacement, Florian Uvitz. Yeah, Florian, a goal oh, and Florian Ritz. Yeah, a yeah, goal yeah. and four assists in ten games from the midfield there. So oh, it's just you know they they they're playing well in the system. Will it last? I don't know, but um, but we'll see. We'll see what goes with uh with Dortmund now that they don't have uh now they got coach, the uh, yeah. the assistant coach. We'll see. If he switches maybe a change up, of system. Hopefully, change of formation. Um, yeah, change of we'll see. You know, hopefully, you no know, playing players in the right positions. You know, if possible. You know, hopefully we don't see Renier on the pitch anymore because <laughs> he's not very good. Really? Like, really? You don't rate him? He's not good. I he's mean, his most... development's been stalled for like, what, a year now? He had COVID. Two years? He had COVID, so he was out for a little bit. He got hurt when he first started. I don't know. He just like, you know what I mean? Like sometimes like when the player goes on, like even if he doesn't score or assist, like sometimes you can just see like, you know, good movement. Like he's doing the right yeah, thing. Yeah, he's moving but, into But like it. from what I can see, like every time he comes on, like 
he's supposed to be like a center forward, like a striker. But like he comes on and then like he he pulls wide. He doesn't really take players on. Like he's always just looking to pass back. Reminds like, me of a player named Griezmann. <laughs> he's not really like doing anything to you know get into like those right positions or like, create danger. He's still young, right? So those things can definitely change. But like from what I've seen so far, I would definitely rather see uh, Mukoko come on. The thing uh, with these young players is you sure. got to give them game time, man. You got to give yeah. them time, can't, yeah. can't let these players rot on the bench. But at the same time, too, it's like you have to think, like, if if, if, if you need to wake something to happen in the game and you're going to bring on a player and you know he's not going to really perform, yeah. then, like, you're probably not going to get as much playing time as you'd think, right? Like, if you're not coming on and making an impact, maybe you'll get playing time for 20 minutes if the team's up 3-0. But if you, if you need to be relied upon to, you know, create danger or at least get into a space where you can occupy someone, then like you, you can't really be relied upon, right? Like at least when Mukoko comes on, he, even though he hasn't scored or assisted, when he comes on, like he just occupies that place of a center forward, and he just you know kind of changes the game, right? So yeah. we'll see what happens. But uh, just a question for you: Do you think Mukoko and Haaland could play good together, or is, are they just both more of a one? Just really depends. Player. Like no one really plays with two strikers. That's true. Really anymore? All right. Like All right. I think when Haaland's back, Haaland will play and he'll start. Mukoko will rotate, and then it really just depends like what what the new because the thing is they have so many players. I don't think they can afford to play two strikers. Like they have so many yeah, attackers and attacking midfielders and wingers that there's not room to play two strikers. Like they just have so much attacking players that like it's hard to fit everybody in. But we'll see what this new coach does in terms of system. Uh, it'll be interesting. We'll see on Tuesday. Sounds good. And uh, now to Jay, you got anything for the? Outside. Do I know? <laughs> Outside the, the bus. <laughs> oh. Well, so um, this week we received news of, obviously there's no Ballon d'Or, but there still is the best award. And three nominees came out. It's Ronaldo, Messi, and Lewandowski. What are what are some thoughts across the board? Wait, you said Ronaldo, Messi, and Lewandowski? Is yeah. it Messi, Lewandowski, Ronaldo? <laughs> Did you just make no, fun of him? In no, that no. order? No, it's like... Messi got nominated, Lewandowski got nominated, and Ronaldo got nominated. Messi. Wait, <laughs> isn't Neymar the best in the world? But why is he there? Oh, it he is crazy. There. He got snubbed. He did have a really great year. He brought PSG to the final. He, he definitely got snubbed. I don't know for who, but did, did they, he I, should be in there. Did, you know they, I, did they win the league too? They won league on Coupe yeah. de la Ligue, Coupe de France. Wow, he actually should Led be there. PSG to the final, first ever time. Man, so it might be a, just a bias thing that maybe you guys are just thinking Neymar's Putting best. up crazy numbers, too. Yeah, was, first players to get, what, 20 goals, 20 assists yeah. in two different leagues? Yeah, and Neymar is the first player in Champions League history to score 20 goals. Wait, with two, yeah, two, different, with two different clubs. Yeah. yeah. Um, and take in, Messi, or sorry, Neymar didn't even play the whole season. First, he was injured. Yeah. Second, uh... What the league one got canceled, right? Oh yeah, true. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, obviously yeah. he couldn't put up as much numbers as so why is Messi he was able to. Why is Messi or Ronaldo there? Yeah, who are you taking out from media, bro? Who Propaganda. Take, who are you taking out from? I think Messi has to go. To be honest, didn't didn't achieve anything with Barca. I would say the same. Put up numbers, you know, as he usually does, but it's true. I, don't I think Messi I deserves. I think Neymar should have been there instead of Messi. <laughs> TBA. He's geeking right now. <laughs> this guy's this guy's so happy. What are your now? thoughts? No, I don't know. I think I think they, honestly, Messi still had a pretty good season last season. I think he yeah, but like, they went trophyless and they I lost eight two to if, Bayern. If it if it's like for <laughs> player individually, like Messi did put up good stats. He had like twenty five assists and like I think like high twenty or low thirty goals. I think he had twenty four goals in forty four games. Yeah, like he still put up like insane numbers. The only difference is like Ronaldo did win trophies and he also had pretty good numbers as well. I think like he had thirty five goals in the, I mean thirty one goals in Serie A. Then he had like. Something UCL, I don't know yeah. what it was, but he had he had a really good statistically season, Messi, and he and he got trophies. Messi had more than 20, 20 plus goals and twenty plus assists. Didn't they, didn't he have that season? I yeah. think so. Yeah, I think yeah. he's like the one of the only players who's ever done that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he obviously, but that's something you expect from Messi, right? Yeah, the fact that he's going down like and Neymar's in the up right now, I think Neymar should taking his place yeah. i think yeah i think neymar should have just taken it over messi this year but it's legit could, just minor things that neymar puts yeah. neymar up top of it. you could yeah. definitely it's yeah. not but then again it's a popularity it's, contest at the end of the day yeah. so and neymar's and, a popular player he though. is but, but messi is messi. popular exactly messi's messi bro come on I, I guess but like okay it's it's it's, an, it's obvious who we think is gonna win who we know is gonna win everyone yeah. believes it's levin yeah. yeah he deserves it. To be. He, deserves and it, yeah, he definitely deserves it but neymar should be in the running of course you gotta be top three yeah, I would say I would say snubbed. I would say Lewandowski, Neymar, Ronaldo, in yes. that in that order. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I give it. Yeah. I think so too. I think so too. And 
It's crazy. But he should, Lewandowski should have the Ballon d'Or as well. I don't understand why they still have that canceled. Like the majority, of the, weird, majority yeah. of the league is still being was played. Yeah, the whole Champions League was played. The whole league was played. The beginning of this league started playing. Yeah, because it's international is happening. Like everything's happening. Right, it's, it's a weird one. It's only because league got canceled, and it's a French. Yeah, it's, ran, it's, it's ran by French fo- France football. Yeah, whatever, but right? again, but it's not like you have a France player even... Con- if it is France player, you have Neymar. But considered. they could do what they want. It's but like, yeah, that, but you still have Neymar as an option to go in there. So why would you not want even if a French player is, comes in second? You know I, I mean? don't know. I don't know. Weird decision. Yeah. I mean, Neymar, if you're looking here, I got to pull up the stats here from last season. So if we're looking like, I guess the most fair thing, I guess, to look at considering differences in games and everything like that might be points per game. Right? So if you're looking here... Neymar only played 27 games last season, right? Yeah. But he contributed 19 goals and 12 assists, so 2.52, I guess, goal contribution. Which is crazy. <laughs> which is crazy, which is a very good. You know, if we look at Messi here, you know, a lot more goals, a lot more assists, but also a lot more games. Yeah. Right? A lot more involvement. If we look at Ronaldo, definitely a lot more goals, not really much in terms of assists. assists. Yeah. Um, and then if we look at Lewandowski here, it's just kind of nuts. Um, you got 55 goals Jeez. and then 10 assists and then yeah, 2.51. So That's crazy. A lot of contributions, but also a lot of games, right? Yeah. So I yeah. think, you know, even statistically, like 100% probably the clear winner from last yeah. season. At yeah. least. And then I Gotta think be. from there, like you can, if you if you want to look at like who contributed the most in terms of when they actually played, it could be Neymar, right? Because I mean, if you look at like his mm-hmm. contributions relative to games, like he definitely contributed a lot. Yeah. Right, and then if you're uh, if you're looking at Messi, same thing, a lot of contrib- con- contributing, and if you look at Ronaldo, right, similar thing, but I think uh, Ronaldo's probably in there just because the team did win the league, right? So they actually yeah. they won to back like it. a trophy to back it, right? But then again, Messi had no trophies the past yeah. season, right? So because yeah. that, Messi that's did have a great yeah. season, he had a great he season. did, yeah, just but no trophies, yeah, yeah, just no trophies, not his best season, though. yeah, no, not, not even close. <laughs> But yeah. So yeah, we all say Lewandowski first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Has to be Lewandowski, Lewandowski deserves it all. It's, Definitely. It's hard to it's hard to like argue Lewandowski that he won everything. Yeah. Like it's you can't really argue. And that. he's been in form for like the past five years now. Yeah. Five four years. So like he des- I feel like it's about time. Like he deserves. And it's and it's not like to be oh, out there. The, the Bayern won these trophies. It, he didn't do anything to do it. It was. He was a huge contribution to these yeah. trophies, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not like a Ribery in 2013 where it was like, yeah, you were probably exactly. top player on the team, but like you didn't like separate yourself like from the rest. He separated himself from any other forward. In like the Ribery's league. still crying that he didn't win the Ballon d'Or <laughs> that year. <laughs> Crazy. But yeah. Yeah, they're denying the first Polish Ballon d'Or winner. Crazy. That's rough. That is what it is. <laughs> See if he can rack it up again next season. Still a chance. Who knows? But yeah, um... I have something quick. Yeah, give it, give, give it to us. So, Paulo Rossi passed. Uh, Ooh, rest in peace. I just want to, I just want to pay some respects and uh, tell you guys about his '82 season. Let us know, Chris. The hero of '82. So was, his '82 season carried his was nation. Absolutely hero. incredible. Maradona as carry. One of the best seasons that a player could probably have. So in that season, actually, he just came back from a scan. Well, like a. Uh, Match betting scandal. Match betting what scandal? else do you expect from Juventini, bro? It was bet three six five and <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he, <laughs> early days. So literally, Italy took him out of that suspension. Well, I guess his suspension was over during that time. They brought him to the World Cup. He ended up winning the World Cup. He won the Ballon d'Or. He got the uh, most goals of that World Cup. He got the yeah, so he got the golden shoe. Yeah, he was in the best XI of that that season. Um, and he was World Soccer Player of the Year, and he was also awarded a French award that was uh, Le Equipe. It's, it means like the champion of champions. Not too many players get that award. So, just to base on that, he's a, he's an Italian player that doesn't really get too much talk about, like in the the best Italians XI or whatever. Why, but why doesn't he? Well, As an Italian person, to be honest, I didn't. He didn't, I didn't really play it. much, and his career kind of ended early. right? Yeah, his career but ended like, early. But he the thing, same two years. That's suspension. the same with like Ronaldo, right? He didn't play as much as the thing, but he does have like two, three strong seasons that like who are nine. Yeah, are nine. But he's also like a different comparison. Yeah. No, but I'm also, saying <laughs> comparison as to like a player who didn't have a long season, who really th- became one of the best players in like certain years, but like oh, the short time he had, he created greatness. And I was seeing two with the Paolo Rossi. He short time he had, he did have those one two. Yeah, he did so well. But to be honest, I didn't know who he is. No, <laughs> he's also he's also played in like. The, yeah, the eighties. It's, it's high production too. Like I'm sure he didn't have like that natural ability. No, that he was just a high production. If, if you watch, he's a goal. He was a watch him right? like highlights. He like he's like a better version of Inzaghi. He's a he's a really good poacher. Yeah, yeah he's a really frail like player, but he was smart. He knew how to position yeah, himself. Yeah. Knew how to score. It's a great poacher. Great player. But 
Anyway, I just want to say, rest in peace. All right, Yeah. Great Grazie, player. Paolo. Grazie. I guess that, that'd be a good way to end off the podcast. Mm-hmm. But yeah, before we close out, by the time you guys are watching this, Footy Fresh will be live on a steel thejock.com that's e-s-t-i-l-d-e-j-o-c let me run the styles again here we got the adp alessandro del piero you get this for zio tony tell him to put it in the lancer <laughs> beauty what else we got here the lancer <laughs> let's see we got the 0506 dino right here look at that smile you're telling me you don't want that on your christmas tree no <laughs> christmas morning beauty what else we got here we also got the totti here francesco right here beautiful get it for all the romanisti or to Jalarossi, baby, live on estildejog.com. By the time you're watching, this, it's already out. So go buy them, show some love, and yeah. Yes, boy. We the culture, Thanks, man. everybody, for tuning in. Um, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, um, follow on Instagram at the Footy Culture, and also for these products uh, at Footy Fresh Co. Yeah, so definitely show some love, like, follow, subscribe, and we the culture, man. Yes, sir. Ski. Yes, sir. Pretty fresh. Pretty fresh, baby. Deuces. Easy. Mm-hmm.